Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at the energies between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time, as well as what can you expect in the near future when it comes to this connection. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Leo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Leo. Spirit angels, guides. For Leo, what can Leo expect in love? What's going on for Leo in love? Okay, so overall energies here. Seven of Swords, Four of Wands. On your side, we have the Knight of Swords, Justice, Libra Energy. On their side, the Ace of Swords and the Fool. Future energies down here. And overall energy, the Eight of Swords. Wow, the Eight of Swords with the Seven of Swords. Someone's really in their head here. Um, I'm also getting this energy of like mm, someone who's afraid to maybe come forward because of their actions. We'll see if that shows up again. Um, but your person and you are both thinking about the same thing, some sort of communication, either communication that has already taken place and you're still thinking about it or needing to talk about something now in the present. Let's see. And you have justice, which is all about fairness, balance, the truth, being objective, looking at the facts. And your person has the fool, which is all about a new beginning, a leap of faith. So let's get some insight into these energies first before we clarify. Spirit, can we tell me more, please, for Leo? What's going on for Leo in love? Paralyzing fear. So here we have the fear energy again. Fear is holding you back. What else? What else do we need to know for Leo? Second chances. You're being given a second chance. Okay, what else for Leo? What's going on for Leo? Time out. Time is of the essence. So I feel like someone here is running out of time or they feel they're running out of time when it comes to the second chance. This could be your person just because they have the fool, but we'll see. Let's start with what's going on here between you. Get some clarity, please, for Leo, some clarity. For Leo, what do we need to know? We need to know for Leo. Tell me about this Eight of Swords because I feel like that's the main energy here, the overall energy for everything that's happening. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone that's afraid to, I feel, come forward with an offer. Cherry energy at the bottom of the deck. This is Cancer energy and Page of Pentacles. I feel like someone wants to move forward. It's like whatever this offer is that they want to make to you, Leo, it's almost like um, they're hoping that this offer moves things along in some way. I think this person's overthinking this offer, you know, their approach. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. The Knight of Swords. And then the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Well, the Seven of Swords is all about kind of hiding, um, being kind of deceptive or shifty, 
trying to get away with something, right? The Knight of Swords is the truth, is, is someone that's coming forward with a message, and you have the Knight of Swords here on your end. Um, this is a message that comes in that's completely true. Uh, they don't care how you receive the truth, it's just here it is, take it or leave it. So when I see the Knight of Swords here with the Seven of Swords, I almost feel like someone got found out or the truth of their actions were spoken about or revealed. You know, maybe they're admitting something, you know, when I see the Knight of Swords there with the, with the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is a card about stability, home, happy home. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Wow, Justice. So we're getting some repeating energies here when it comes to you. You have the Knight of Swords and Justice. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Wow, the Two of Cups. I didn't even notice that it was left there. Okay. Um, the Hermit at the bottom of the Jack. Virgo energy. Well, justice in the four of wands, I, I immediately think of balance, harmony, doing the right thing, having justice, having your four of wands. Let's see. Tell me more about this four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? Why is the four of wands here? Eight of wands action movement yeah this is definitely about move, movement the chariot is again at the bottom of the deck when i see all of this i think of someone moving out moving quickly let me see one more about the seven of swords tell me about the seven of swords Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords. And then the Chariot again. Okay, so I'm just, I just keep getting confirmations here. I feel like I'm speaking to a Leo. where something has happened already there has been already some sort of issue or conflict in a connection maybe someone was caught lying maybe someone was caught doing something behind your back or someone didn't tell you the complete truth about something that's why second chances is here and that's why time out is here someone's worried that they're not going to be able to have their say before you make a move of some sort. So I, I get the sense that some of you Leos have already left the connection because you want to be fair to yourself and others of you are thinking about it still. And, you know, regardless of what group you fall under, this other person, whether you, and, and by the way, that's whether you left the connection a long time ago or not, this person's worried that it, you've completely moved on that they're not gonna be able to tell you something, that they're not gonna be able to have a second chance, that there's not gonna be a fool, you know, a new beginning here. They're worried, you know, that their offer won't be accepted, that their communication won't be received. That's, that's what I'm picking up so far here. So let's look at your energies. I have you on one side, Leo, and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me more about Leo's energy and this other person that they're dealing with or thinking about. Some of you have started seeing someone new. It's freaking this person out. Because they're like, no, I'm gonna lose out my chance. Tell me about Leo's energy in this connection. What do we need to know when it comes to Leo? Family room, number 21. So this is all about intimacy, comfort, being comfortable around others, being vulnerable um, because you're in an intimate setting. 
some of you there's something here with the actual like kids but I don't want to jump into that because it, I don't feel very strongly but that's part of the problem the children it's almost like this person might use children to contact you to stay in contact with you to stay kind of like in your life what else what else it's not for everyone though so I don't want to like harp on that but what else do we need to know for Leo tell me about Leo's energy about Leo's energy I couldn't let you get close to me so I feel like you have some sort of boundaries here when it comes to this person because this person perhaps is trying to get back into your intimate space right they're trying to get back to where they probably were before um, but it's almost like you're kind of putting up a wall I feel like some of you, you know, it's it's almost like you are thinking completely rationally here rather than emotionally with the justice energy. Um, this is someone that it's all about what is right. It's all about what is fair. It's all about the facts, right? Emotions have nothing to, to do with it. Um, tell me about this person. Oh, I forgot to look for your person's Jesus. Tell me about Leo's person. I just focused on you and like completely forgot about your person. <laughs> Tell me about Leo's person. What do we need to know about this other person? This person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? Mature woman and sudden wealth. Well, sudden wealth is kind of about luck. Kind of like this, the, the wheel of fortune. Mature woman and mature ener feminine energy. Yeah, this, this person is hoping that things turn around. That's what I'm getting. It's almost like they're hoping for a lucky break. Tell me more about this. Okay, that's way too many. Tell me more about Leo's person. Tell me more about Leo's person. What do we need to know? Leo's person. What do we need to know? We will be together again. Yeah. See, I, I, you know, it's conflicting viewpoints in a way because I feel like this person just wants to be together, wants to reunite, wants to come together. And I feel like this this energy over here is of like, eh, pump your brakes. Pump your brakes. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So let's let's dive into your energies here. Let's, you know, there's something here with communication because you both have um, cards about communication. I feel like they want to clear the air with this Ace of Swords and the Fool. Almost like, let's talk about it and start over, in a way. Let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. That was my dog in the background, by the way. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords about? Strength. There you are, Leo. So I feel like this is a message coming to you. Someone's talking to you here. Someone probably had a lot of courage to come talk to you as well. Tell me about justice. This could also be a legal situation. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Yeah, balance. Six of pentacles. What's this? Five of swords. So I feel like um, whatever happened between you and this person, you came out on top or you were not rattled you were not affected they didn't win they didn't get away with it i feel like all you want to hear from this person is complete truth and it's probably because you don't trust them because of the past so it's almost like you don't care about emotional displays you don't care about even like gifts or promises you just want the truth that's all you care about. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Let me get one more. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Queen of Wands and the Ten of Swords. 
Yeah, so this is someone coming to talk after something has ended. I think they want to talk about what has happened because they're hoping to maybe change your mind or change your perspective on it. You know? Let's see. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? What's this Ace of Swords about? Okay, I got three. King of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy there again. Ace of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're coming to you with some sort of offer, some sort of promise, proposal, something that they're hoping you will accept. They're being very, um, they're taking a risk, this person, and willing to take a risk. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool. This could also be you, Leo. When this offer comes in, you, you're fighting your emotions. You know, maybe in your emotions, you still care about this person. You know, your feelings are still there for this person. But I feel like you're trying to be like justice. You're trying to be unemotional. Trying to think clearly, objectively. Ten of Cups, Death, Scorpio Energy, and then the, the Ace of Swords again. This person's gonna tell you, I've changed, let's put it to bed, let's leave the past in the past. Um, let's move forward with the Ten of Cups. There's potential here for happiness. Um, I'm willing to work on things. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Now they have no idea how you're going to receive them, but this is the hope. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles again. So it's, this is someone that is hoping that things work out, that all of their effort and time and energy will be, you know, worth it in the end. Yeah, Seven of Cups and the Hangman. So this person, basically what's going to happen next is, um, I think that they're going to try to bring you this offer of some sort, and then they're going to be forced to wait on your decision on what choice you make. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups about? Six of Wands. Mm, they might they might um, try different tactics here, different options of like um, getting your attention or different ways of communicating. Tell me about the Hangman. Tell me about the Hangman. Why is the Hangman here? Five of Pentacles. And there's the world. So again, I feel like this person is going to be asking you for a second chance. Look at things in a different way. Um, it wasn't what you think. You know, that's the energy I'm getting here. Also, this person could tell you, you know, because of what I've been through, because of the separation or because of the issues we had or the breakup or whatever happened between us, because of that, I see things differently now. You know, I do feel like this person, there's something here about them like I've changed. Let's see if we can get some insight. Can you give me some more insight into this person's energy? Because I know that they're focused on being together with you again. But I feel like there's there's something... Oh my god, I cannot grab my deck. What's going on? Oh my god, my decks do not want to stay in my hand. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person's energy. I don't know what's going on with my deck. But tell me more about this person that Leo is dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know about this 
I regret what happened. Yeah, they're going to tell you that they're sorry for everything and, you know, but at the bottom of the deck I have, I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. So I think that there's, there's, and, and honestly, I did not see the tower come up again. Wait, there is no tower, but I've expected like a tower moment. So I didn't see a tower, anything unexpected here other than like the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is kind of like out of the blue. Sometimes it's just really fast. Um, but I, you know, I almost feel like there's like a tower looming, I guess I should say, but they're afraid to tell you how they really feel because they don't know seven of pentacles. They don't know how you're going to react. Um, they're hoping for a second chance, but it's not up to them. It's up to you. You know, and I feel like a lot of you Leos are questioning this person you know why are you coming in why are you making this offer because they're being very persistent this person ace of pentacles ace of swords ace of swords down here the fool the fool is almost like this um every time i see the fool there i'm thinking of someone that's like let's just do it let's just go for it let's just start you know let's talk about it like it's very like a pushy energy and i wonder if they're being that way because they're so scared right it's almost like a like a fake courage or liquid courage or something like that. It's almost like they're trying to um, hype themselves up to, to get this done. But there's a lot of fear about how you will take it because they're going to have to come to you with a different way of doing things, with a different proposition, a different persona, you know, because you don't trust the old them. That's kind of what I'm getting here. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Uh, hit the like button if you did. Leave me a comment if you'd like to let me know if this resonated for you. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.